Point of order, Julian Knight. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, I wonder if you could clarify how we better ensure that ministers who sit in the other place face proper scrutiny from parliamentary select committees of this House. DCMS select committees had considerable difficulty securing any time with the Minister of State at the Cabinet Office. We were told on the 16th of February it was his responsibility to oversee the negotiation of crucial bilateral agreements to ensure that people working in the creative and service sectors in the UK can travel to and work in countries within the EU. Following our subsequent request to see the Minister, we had two refusals point blank, and only after the Prime Minister himself stated, under my questioning at a liaison hearing, that he expected the Minister to appear before the Committee, that finally, on the April 23rd, we scored a date for the Minister's appearance, that being today. Madam Deputy Speaker, you can imagine my dismay at the said Minister's subsequent cancellation of his appearance this week. We all appreciate that there are many important issues for the Minister to address, particularly in the light of the trade dispute with the EU. However, the Minister citing the G7 as a reason for cancellation can hardly be deemed an unexpected event. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, could you express the House's concern over Ministers from the other place not appearing in front of parliamentary select committees to receive due scrutiny, and would you reflect on the democratic deficit that this brings about? Uh, well, I'm grateful to the Honourable Gentleman for giving notice of his point of order. Um, select committee uh, scrutiny is an essential aspect of our work in this place, and for committees to be able properly to undertake scrutiny, they need access to key witnesses, including ministers. The government must therefore make every effort to ensure that the appropriate ministers are able to give evidence to committees in a timely way. When the minister concerned is in the House of Lords, it is particularly important that committees in this House are able to hold them to account. I'm very sorry that the Honourable Gentleman's Committee has been experiencing these difficulties. He has now put his concerns on the record they will have been heard by ministers, and I hope that every effort is now made to ensure that the committee is able to take evidence from the minister without delay. Thank you. Point of order.